Uh, my name is Annu Aga. I'm 77 years old. My husband had a heart attack and a stroke. Uh, I had gone to England to be with my daughter and her family when she had her first child. And when I returned after six months, my husband had come to pick me up from Pune to Bombay, but he had a massive attack before he could come to the airport. Uh, first, my husband died, and then within 14 months, my son died. After my husband died, I read many, many books on death. But I found that that gives me an intellectual perspective about death. But my heart was not healed. I was really pining for my husband. And then I had heard about Vipassana and I went there. And in 10 days, you are not allowed to talk or read. So you have to go inwards and you tap your inner resource. And I came to realize death is inevitable. We don't know when, where, how. So we give names like tragedy to death. How can something which is natural and bound to happen be a tragedy? To me, tragedy is not getting along with the living. And we say it's unfair that young died. You go to a hospital, you see so many young suffering, dying. So death is not related to age necessarily. So to not create guilt, we have to have relationships that are satisfying. After the person dies, we only focus on, I wish I had done this. Forgive yourself. You are a human being. You are not perfect. You did what was best. Maybe you, with your knowledge today, you could have done something different, but you couldn't. So give your time to the living. Forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. And I think, I think guilt is the most useless emotion. It doesn't help you to be better. It paralyzes you. It takes away your energy, saps your energy. I've written many articles on death and uh, usually in those days Rotary used to ask me to come and talk and I would say, can I talk on death? And they would say, no, no, something a little more cheerful, you know. So no, from this experience people don't want to talk about death. I myself, before my husband died, was mortified about death and if the word death was spoken, I'd go and find wood and touch wood. But now I know if I carry the entire jungle or forest with me, I can't change anything. Destiny will go on and unfold itself. So yes, we don't admit it to ourselves. We don't want to talk about it. We think if we don't talk about it, it will not happen. This kind of magical beliefs we have. So yes, as a society, we don't talk about death. And now in almost all my talks, I talk a little bit about death because it's so part of life. How can you separate it and not talk about it? Death is something that will touch you in different ways which you don't know. So, though I talk so much, will I be prepared for my own death or for my dear ones? I don't know. But that doesn't mean at least I attempt. Let's have the humility to know that just because you talk about death, you are ready for it. It doesn't happen that way.